night. Talk about what was watching your dad up there. Um, emotional. Uh, cry like a baby. Um, obviously, I'm proud to see him up there, and it just it just felt right to see him up there. Just seeing the role that he took, and just being there from the start. So it was obviously a blessing, a great blessing. Were you were you there for the whole weekend, or did you go down with Coach Sweeney? How did that work out? Uh, I was there the whole weekend. Um, I was there for the gold jacket ceremony and the ceremony itself. Pretty good excuse to miss breakfast for a couple of days, right? <laughs> yeah, a couple more days. Yeah. Were you surprised he was as open as he was with the whole country on such a big stage? No. My dad will give you his full honesty um, when it needs to be addressed. Um, that's, that's something that he felt like he really shared, especially with my mom, because my mom is basically the rock of our family. And um, she's our, our hero. And without her, um, my dad would not be here to this day. So. Does he inspire you to be better when you, when you listen to the words he said? Uh, yes, uh, every single day, because um, I constantly talk to them about football, life, um, and just the Lord. And I also talk to my mom about things as well. So both my parents helped me to be better. For you as a football player, I read the story that I guess NBC Sports did about you working out with NFL players, NFL cornerbacks. How has that helped you in your transition and here at Clemson? Uh, it helped me tremendously uh, with the technique. Um, obviously, I'm not the biggest of guys, but my greatest attribute will definitely be quick feet and technique. And I try to use that every single day when I step onto the practice field. How much does your dad, does he give you any tips or anything like that as far as do this better, do that? Well, how is he as a as a dad when he watches you play? Uh, he's a great he's a great dad. He uh, always critiques me uh, when I do bad, when I do good. Rarely good because he doesn't want me to get a big head or anything. So other than that, um, he critiques me almost when I send him film. He critiques it because he know he knows best. He's one of the best. So how can I not utilize that? So. Um, I try not to uh, go past that. That's just my dad, but I try to use it every single day. You, are, we'll you the, coach. are you on the are you on the peanut butter sandwich spaghetti diet like <laughs> he was when he played here? Uh, we have a cafeteria that's way more better than <laughs> what they had to get used to. So I utilize that cafeteria that we have here, so I don't have to wake up at 2 a.m. Um, and eat spaghetti and uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. For you uh, this year, trying to get yourself on the field more, what, what, are you, what are you doing and how have you, how was the summer for you as you get ready here for camp? Uh, just being very cultured. Um, try to utilize, utilize my technique, um, knowing what my strengths and knowing what my weaknesses are and being able to um, work on my weakness so they can become my strength one day. So that's how I've just been doing. What's your impression of a Kyler so far? Kyler, uh, he's a great kid. A great kid, um, great personality, first of all. Um, yeah, I can see him um, being a great attribute here. Um, just has to continue to work hard and be the player that I know he can be. What about uh, Mario? Same thing. Um, both of them guys are great guys, great people that are very coachable, willing to learn. Um, they have both had a pretty solid day today, and hopefully they can get better. It's the toughest transition for each of those guys going to corner. Um, stuff this transition, maybe the amount of reps, because uh, it's not as many corners than they are in any other position, so we get a lot more reps. Um, so just being able to be winded throughout the whole transition. Thanks.